Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how we can manage entity ownership in Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. Let's just uh, first understand what entities are in Dynamics 365. Well, entities are used when you want to add new functionalities inside Microsoft Dynamics 365. If you're familiar with creating tables in SQL, so it's just like that. Entities are tables within Dynamics 365, which store records. When it comes to managing entity ownership, there are two ways that you can do it. First is the user or team ownership, or the second type is organization ownership. Now, if you want to understand the difference in, in short, then when you use a user or team ownership for a record, then you will get a owner field available with that record, which means that you can reassign the owner of the particular record. But if you are using organizational ownership for a particular entity, well, then the records over there will not have an owner field, which means the user can either see the record or not see the record. So as far as um, the security is concerned, the security for user or team ownership is controlled at five levels. That is organizational level, business unit, parent-child relationship, business unit level, user level, or none. And as far as the organizational ownership is concerned, well, it's just two levels. That is either organizational level or none. So this is the main difference between um, these two types of ownership. So let's just go ahead and see how you can define or how you can manage the ownership of particular entity. All right, so here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. Let's just go to advanced settings. We can either go to customizations or solutions, but the best practice is that you create your own solution and define your own entities over there. So let's just go to solutions and I already have a solution called Tech Quantum. Under entities, uh, let me define a new entity. And then let's give it a plural name applications and the name field um, will be automatically given by the system, but you can always overwrite that as well. Now, the important field to note over here is the ownership field, which is also mandatory, which you can recognize by a little red star over here. And there are two options, user or team and organization. So for application, now let me just select user or team. And also let me select the area sales where I want to see the application entity so let's just go ahead and save and close and then uh, let me define a new entity called uh, currency now currency is um, something that I would like the whole organization or all each and everyone in the organization to have access to and again over here with the ownership let me select organization for this and select the area as sales click save and close now in order to see these changes in my application, I need to publish these customizations. So over here, we can select entities and click on publish so that my customizations are published and they are visible in the application. Now, I have just created a simple example. I have not defined fields or anything yet. This is just for the ownership field. So let's just go ahead in our application and refresh the page. And if I scroll down, I will see that I have two extensions over here, application and currency. So if I go to the applications page over here, I can create new application. And if I create an application over here, you can see that there is an owner field available, which is by default assigned to the current user, which is the administrator in this case. So let me just, define an application over here and with the owner field over here it does not necessarily have to be the current user it can be any user or team so over here you can see either i can assign it to user or i can assign it to a team now if i can select a different user let's say alan steiner and i can save and close now if i click on currency and then try to assign uh, create a new currency over here and you can see that there is no owner field. 
So either a user sees the record or does not see the record. So there's no, no other thing that you cannot just assign this record anywhere. So there's no owner field when the ownership is of type organization. And I can save and close over here. So I hope you understood uh, how you can manage uh, the ownership of entities and the records in the entities in Dynamics 365 and what's the basic difference between them. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel Tech Dynamics. Bye bye.